come back to the no, Loyal family. Yeah. Like and subscribe. And turn on those notifications. Today we have a special guest. It is our dad. Whoop, whoop. Hey everyone, today we have a special presentation for you. Some classic throwback toys. I know the girls have shown a lot of their new new toys, Kindy Kids, uh, the Trina Madison new collection, series one and two. Today we're going through the WWF LJN series one through five. Um, the series ran from 1984 through 1989, LJN, and then there was a subsequent series by Grand Toys, which uh, picked up on a series six. This is the complete LJN series, one through five, so we're gonna walk through that today. We're gonna go series by series, so why don't we kick us off, and the girls are gonna, as we kinda go through, look at some of their favorite characters, some of the lookalikes. There's a few uh, uncle lookalikes. I don't wanna give anything away, but this bald iron sheik looks like a couple family members. Uh, as we go through it, you'll see, and uh, not me, don't listen to them. Okay, so here we go. We'll start off with season, series one. Uh, <laughs> and here we go. So thanks for that intro, Margo. Series one, obviously the notorious, the most famous, uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, right? So Hulk Hogan, series one. Okay, he came with the collector's belt. This is probably the most popular selling character in the entire series in terms of the figures that they put out. Um, Hulk Hogan, anything you have to say about Hulk Hogan, guys? He is my favorite wrestler. Margo? Margo doesn't think so, and Margo is probably going to spill one of those drinks, so we'll keep an eye on that throughout the video. Okay, Al Hogan's my main arch rival. Who was that? Well, we all know him to be Andre the Giant. Probably not the Andre we know with the black strap. That actually it came out in the Series 6 with the black strap, which was the grand uh, toy uh, version of that. So this is Series 1. This is an older version of Andre with the long hair. Beautiful looking figure, pretty cool. Um, so we did Andre and Hogan. Those are some serious battles uh, that took place in the 80s for sure. But Hogan mostly won. Always won. Andre got his, his, his hits in, but Hogan always won. Uh, Hogan's buddies, right? Hogan's buddies from the series. Junkyard Dog, Hillbilly Jim, Margo. Any, uh, and Margo's favorite is I Russian. Margo likes Nikolai Volkov. Uh, Nikolai oh, Volkov was a famous uh, adversary of Hogan's. Uh, Nikolai Volkov's buddy, partner in crime, Iron and Sheik. Don't forget the falling here. guy. Don't forget him. Uh, oh, oh, the high flying guy, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Yeah, he, when she says falling, he, he did some serious high flying acrobatics off the ropes. He was a good guy. Uh, JYD, Junkyard Dog, and he was a He's got a nice outfit. Thank you, Coco, for that. Uh, so these two, Hogan's buddies, and then uh, two of the bad guys from the era. Daddy, Hot Rod. I'm not done with my water. Hot Rod, Roddy Piper, and Big John Stud. Play for me, I'm not get something. Two cool bad guys from the series. And this one actually has a skirt. Yeah, and in terms of accessories, Colette brings up a good point. Um, over time, a lot of folks lose the accessories. For this particular yeah. series one, there's a couple missing. Coco, want to pick us up? Dad, um, lost Tucker Dog's, um... He had a chain, yeah. you know, like a typical, like a j junkyard dog would be on a chain. Hot Rod, C Roddy Piper as um, Margo, and Margo's, com Margo's coming in. I think she's might be shut off in terms of teeny drinks because the sugar seems to be kicking in. <laughs> so, and then in terms of uh, uh, Hot Rod, he came with a kilt. Uh, which obviously isn't part of this. And then in terms of hats, it's a it's a Scottish uh, underdressing, or uh, you know, for your lower body, like a, like a shorts. Uh, and then in terms of hats, uh, Hillbilly Jim had a barnyard hat, and then also Nikolai Volkov had his uh, Russian fedora, I think you will. So we'll keep going. That's uh, series one in a nutshell, and let's keep moving. Hold on one second. So, Margo, why don't you bring up series two? Yes, Margo. Yes, series two. Okay. And Dad, it wasn't going that time. It's still going. And series two, let's see it. First, we have a drink. And let's watch those teenies. <laughs> Guys, I know these teenies are totally going to spill. Uh, oh, Margo, please watch Christmas those drinks. Tea. So, let's, let's remove. Oh, Christmas tree. I spilled it already on my outfit. Okay, good. No. <laughs> That's, this is going well. I'm glad we decided to do this today. <laughs> uh, Daddy, series Daddy. one, and let's look at series two. You know, a much smaller series relative to series one, if you think about it. Um, a good you know, uh, cl uh, cl Clearly picking up some of the big characters that came out. In series one, we had seen the long hair Andre, mm -hmm. 
But series two girls, what do we have? What's they have the short hair on there. Still not the black strap, but Come certainly, on, certainly on there nonetheless. So we had the Andre the Giant. We have Margo. Uh, no more sugar for you. The uh, King Kong Bundy, one of Hogan's adversaries, WrestleMania 3, big match for a Hogan. Oh, excuse me, WrestleMania 2. WrestleMania 3 was with Andre. Again, Black Strap Andre. And uh, this one actually kind of looks like Daddy the Barber. Brutus the Barber, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe just the abs. What do you guys think? Probably just the abs. Uh, <laughs> then maybe, or speaking of abs, Mr. Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful, uh, he is. Probably the most ripped character in the series, so they did. And uh, we had actually a good, like, like a like darker color hair, but it still looked like the arm was broken. So we did buy a Paul Daddy, This set was assembled. Yes, Margo. I spilled already. That's okay. Just clean it up. That Paul. This set was assembled. Uh, you know, piece by piece, a couple small lots to you know kind of accumulate series one through five to get the complete set. <laughs> There's no current complete set out there on eBay other than probably what we have available now. Um, but Paul Ondorf, yes, as you buy these individually, you'll, they'll come in the mail. Some will have like a miss, a broken arm or, you know, in the 80s, some of them will smell like cigarettes, unfortunately. So that happens, but... Like this one we had a broken like foot, but... We, we, we bought another one. one. We sold the one with a broken foot and bought one with a two full feet. So yep. good stuff there. And actually some of the detail on these characters, what do you see here, Coco, with this one? Uh, Grosso hair. He's got hair all over. Yeah. Mario, did you see this? And he's bald. So he's got hair all over hair, but not enough hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's head. funny how that happens. Speaking of hair, look at this beautiful locks on uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine. He looks like Daddy. Uh, I wish I had hair like that. Uh, uh, hence the hat. Uh, so he was a cool character at the time. Um, his. Um, We'll see one of his buddies later in the in the show uh, with regards to Honky Talk Man. They were rhythm and blues, so we'll see how that kind of works out. So, like, there's these little black things all around on Brutus the Barber, Barber, and they're like these little black things, and they kind of look like on like their little pieces of his hair. So, Brutus the Barber and Barber kind of stand. Maybe, out. yeah. He always had some unique tights. Right, Margo? Did you like this guy's look? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of on um, the Skyfly. Yeah, yeah, his pants. whatever that is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> These characters are kind of cool. Greg the Hammer always had that good for you know playability. These were really neat. I do like in terms of weight. What do you think is the heaviest one? This guy's real heavy, right? Yeah, King Kong. You know, and you know, I think that's kind of cool. If you think back to the Hogan, you could pick up and slam King Kong Bundy. So pretty cool series too. Um, we'll keep going. Don't Rapid. Forget about these little wrestling buddies. Marco put a skirt on one. We'll get to those momentarily. There's some extra accessories in terms of Miss Elizabeth came with, we have two skirts, both custom, not original. <laughs> and one of them ended up on Big John, but we'll get there. Uh, Little so, John stuff. So series two is complete. Brings well, us to baby. series three, much bigger series. Uh, some cool characters. So some cool, let's, let's spread out series three, guys. Uh, girls. Uh, that, uh, so series three had some really cool characters. Also the introduction of the manager series, as well as the, as uh, you see, the announcer there. Um, some cool characters uh, keep coming here. And also the first formal tag team. I know we had some tag teams on there with Iron Sheik yeah, and um, Nikolai Volkov. So here they are, Coco, why don't you set us up? British Bulldogs. British Those guys dogs, also came dogs, with, dogs, at the time, dogs. these tag team belts. We'll show these when we get to some of the later characters. Uh, there were a few different tag teams that did come with these belts. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we have only one set of the belts. The accessories in general are very difficult to find, number one, on the secondary market. Uh, but number two, they're super expensive. For whatever reason, and, obviously, um, they get lost. For and... some reason, they always, for some of these, they have duplicates, like, um, Whatever these guys are. So SD Jones, Special yes, Delivery Jones two. has two. two uh, so clearly they issued two versions of this. Uh, same pose, same everything, except Hawaiian shirt, red shirt. Uh, I think in terms of value, they're probably and, about the and same they have value. The exact same shoes and the exact same, same boots. So they just changed his shirt for some reason. And the headband's even the, the same, which is interesting. So that's SG Jones, pretty and cool this character. One actually, if you didn't know, he has a tag team in the later series, but this is just him. Separately, he has a different outfit, but these are the exact same on his little wristbands. And um, he has a blue underwear and two blue things, which he usually has a white outfit on his tag team. Exactly. So Tito Santana, we'll see him later in the Strike, strike Force, which is 
much cooler than this kind of blase purple slash blue as coco said uh version of tito santana this is but one of my favorites the army suit person corporal clincher yeah i, I almost want i almost thought this one was better than hogan really like so she likes corporal clincher so corporal clincher was the answer to um i think once sergeant slaughter rolled off i could have that wrong but i think this was the supposed to be this next generation of sergeant slaughter i don't think his wrestling career really fizzled out Here's one of Margo's favorites from Girls Just Want to Have Fun video. Yes, and Valley Girl, they made a new one in 2020, if you didn't know. Okay. It's not posted really late. Margo, any thoughts on Series 3 so far? No, we're not there in Series 4 yet, but any thoughts on Series 3? Well, this is Andre the Giant's manager. Oh, man! Don't... Oh, yeah! Which I don't really so, understand Bobo why they man, put... actually. Um, why I, they didn't put him with Andre... Because, like, I don't understand that because why would you have him in the later series in Andre and Andre? Good Anderson? point. I don't think they thought the manager would be marketable, but as this thing picked up momentum and the characters were pretty, were flying off the shelves, I think they said, hey, let's maximize on value. Let's put okay, some managers the manager. in there. Margo had referenced Old Man, so this would have been the manager for what we saw in Series 1, Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov, classy and Freddie Glassy. Had, um, both of these actually, um, Mr. Fuji? Yes, Mr. Mr. Fuji. Fuji. And they both have paint, but we don't have them because they're really hard to get. Again, the accessories. And I think that, you know, in terms of this Mr. Fuji, all of these characters are really good paint quality. I'd say this Mr. Fuji is probably one of our worst. We probably should replace him nonetheless, but here he is. Um, and we put Macho Man, but one of the coolest characters in this. One of the coolest characters in the set. And we had yeah, a custom so intercontinental cool. belt. Coco, do you want to show him the belt? Yes, the really belt cool. is yellow and it's a Heavyweight champion belt. It's actually the Intercontinental, but it's pretty cool. Does it say heavyweight on there? It does say it. Heavyweight wrestling champion. Yeah. But it does say Intercontinental. And it's one of the cooler characters. He's got the nice stars on his uh, trunks there. I think and this one what, looks like Margo, who will we see later that's associated with Macho Man? Mrs. Elizabeth. So we'll see Miss Elizabeth, who, and you know, Macho and Miss Elizabeth were married in real life. Uh, and so. it's actually a big thing with Macho Man in... Oh, uh, she's referencing the Mega Powers. We saw the Mega Power Meltdown on YouTube. That's the thing in this series that you don't really have the Twin Towers. You do get an iteration of Bug, Big Boss Man, but that's in the Grand Toy Series 6. So moving along, we get Jesse the Body. I think this is well past his wrestling days. We'll see his partner in top crime, uh, Adrian Adonis, after this one. But he was more of an announcer at this point. Nonetheless, cool character. And Adrian Adonis looks like Adrian Adonis looks like someone we know, uh, our, Gabe. our little brother Gabe, so we'll see him in a moment. Just to round out this series, some quick ones, and margot has got Miss Elizabeth. She's not in the shot, but she's got Miss Elizabeth. We'll see you soon. Ricky the Steamboat, uh, cool character. Again, another one for us, my favorite paint. Bruno San Martino, uh, well past his wrestling days. This is more of a nostalgic. Terry Funk, again, in terms of accessories, he had an iron pro cattle prod and a hat. And one of our one of the ones that's pretty cool is Mean Mean Gene Oakland, um, and and then Martha Cell Jimmy Hart, which you'll see some tag teams coming out later that he was affiliated with. So let's move on. We're gonna pick up some steam and, and go rapid fire lightning round in terms of these next two series since we're running out of uh, um, battery here on the on the camera. So if we look at this next series, really cool. Probably one of my favorites in terms of just unique characters that came out. Some duds in there like Bruno's. Um, yeah, um, Magnific Magnificent Morocco, kind of a dud, we'll throw so him out there. Yeah. looks like Lucky our cat, which you saw in the Busy Bee video. Look, looks like wow, that's a cool character, yeah. Slick, and then yeah, let's, look at the let's look at the tag teams. We have um, Heart Foundation, pretty cool set there. Um, really cool, actually. Comes with the bell, it's pretty rare, pretty hard to get, pretty expensive online. Um, and I want to say, um, Doodle the Donalds? Adrian Adonis, yeah. Adrian Adonis uh, actually has the exact same eyeshadow. You, you'll you see with Miss Elizabeth, but he has the exact same eyeshadow as Miss Elizabeth on Miss Elizabeth's eyes. She has both of them there, but they actually have the exact same color, the exact same thing on her their eyes. See? Yeah, Slick, really cool character. I like the way he's dressed. I always like Slick. Manager of One Man Gang, we'll see in a little bit. Manager, I think he, did he manage Shaquem? I, I, he's definitely a One Man Gang. Margo over there causing some things. Kamala, really cool character. Coco Beware, awesome character. 
King Harley Ray is a pretty cool character. He came with a crown. Coco, Coco Beware came with the parrot. We obviously don't have either of those accessories, but King, Coco, Kamala, very cool. Adrian Adonis, um, awesome. had a snake, but of course we don't have any of the accessories How? except for a couple of them we have. Yeah, and we have some custom ones, which weren't the originals, but they look pretty cool with the characters. Cowboy Bob, this was rumored to be Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, a solo character, but clearly we had... Is part of the tag team, but I don't necessarily see it. I've heard some of that, uh, but this is actually Cowboy Bob nonetheless. Jake the Snake, really cool. Pretty good quality on some of these. I love Jake the Snake's pants, and they're like so cool. He has the purple snake, then he has the purple boots. It's actually really pretty. Yeah, like they said. This is going to be on. He looks like KTS. He, he does. He looks like uh, uh, Colette and Margot's grandfather, my father in law. A little less hair, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> okay, moving along. Uh, my favorite character from the series, Series 4, is Vince McMahon. Pretty expensive to buy this one individually in a good quality. This one's really good quality. Uh, a couple of things, but nothing major. Uh, really cool character. This one looks like Daddy, except his hair is um, brown. And don't tell Daddy I said that. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Series 5. This, this is the last the series movie. from... Oh, that's the series four. Go ahead and announce it, Margo. Oh, and Miss Elizabeth actually, Margo, Miss Elizabeth actually has the exact same thing as J Adrian the Donut. He has the, she has the exact same makeup, actually, as Adrian the Donut, the exact what? same color on both of the eyes. Oh, no, Adrian and Donut is like a purple eye. Maybe it's like you got hair or something. Cause I don't know. I don't know. So Margo's pointing out we have two of the custom skirts, the originals. Uh, came in a purple and gold variation, so those are pretty cool. So let's just, there's Miss Elizabeth, thank you. And she's pretty cool, and again, Macho Man came out maybe a series before, was it series three? Yeah. This is series four. Would have been cool if those two came together, and actually the only female of the set. So the only female that, uh, all the figures. Uh, Didn't you see Scary Sherry? What's your name? Sensational Sherry has like yeah. a, a sub, it's, it wasn't an LJN character, yeah, but they did come out with one for her. Uh, I'm a Scary Sherry fan. I know the girls are probably Miss Elizabeth yeah. and Margo Miss Elizabeth. They like Miss Elizabeth. So Margo's got her apple. Um, these are That's some funny. cool characters this here. This is one of my favorite characters. She likes the model, Rick Martel, and there's a partner, Coco yeah, Reference earlier. Actually, um, has the exact same guy, but I recommend. Um, he has the white shorts. So, um, maybe if you um, want to get some LJS um, you might just get two of the other guys. He's actually way more expensive than the other one because he comes with this one. Coco's referencing the purple Tito Santana could be yeah. customized. and Because yeah. these are a little pricier. These are later series, less release in terms of just quantity of Whoa. figures went out there. Pretty cool detail on the Margo Police. On the on the lightning bolts there on the uh, on the um, on the boots and then on the side of the shorts. Those are really cool. These are one of my favorites. They actually, the killer bees. When I look at them, they just remind me of the day when um, we had a night when we watched them. Yeah, we saw a video on YouTube that I think was a battle royal that the bees were in. Uh, they didn't fare so well, <laughs> nor did they really throughout their career. I think they... And, they... and um, I like, um, we already opened, we already saw them, but I like the British Bulldog dog. The, oh, yeah, the so dog is pretty cool. Yes, Margo? I like the... Too. There's Margo's favorite. All right, so you got Jimmy Valiant and Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Million Dollar Man growing up was one of my favorites. I just thought he was very cool and he's a and fun guy. And actually, one day, um, Million Dollar Man, we saw a YouTube video of him, and he actually um, kidnapped Jake the Snake. Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, there might have been stuff. They were, they were really uh, moving through the bottom of the barrel in terms of storylines at that point. But kidnapped? Again, they hated it. not a kid. Uh, abducted. They abducted Jake the Snake. So, no, you know, I mean, a cool character. We touched the bees. Pretty cool. I like these characters. Great condition, too, in terms of the ones we have here. Especially, um, this one is one of my favorite. Jim Duggan. Duggan. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ho! Yeah. That was his tagline. Yeah. <laughs> pretty and cool character. He's in great shape, actually. Ooh! All right. Yeah. And then, just rounding out. And then we have this really, like, I mean, it's not in bad shape, but it's just, like, so they released two Hogans in Series yeah. 5, the red and white shirts. Very difficult to come by. Mm -hmm. uh, we added a custom heavyweight belt for this one. Be yes. careful, Margo. The, and then, the exact uh, same kind as the one that we showed on Macho Man. 
Yeah, exactly. All right, so these are pretty cool. And these are, again, very rare. Uh, custom Bell Kettle Collette reference from the Macho Man iteration. These are actually almost better quality than the actual LGM belts, to be honest with you. So pretty cool there. This is one of my favorite. Oh, actually, I have a lot of Bam Bam Bigelow. I have a lot of favorites, but Bam Bam Bigelow actually kind of works with me because he has missing two. Like, oh, Coco's. The exact same one. Yeah, missing two. The Coco's uh, permanent teeth are growing in now, though, so I don't know if Bam Bam had the same circumstances. I think this tooth might have been knocked out, but <laughs> I don't know. Call me crazy. But yeah, he had the missing tooth. Great detail there with the tattoo. He the flames no are really teeth. cool. He has no teeth. And One Man Gang, uh, which is uh, then became Hakeem, so Slick was the manager for him. Pretty cool character. I always love One Man Gang yeah, slash Hakeem. I like his, I like his uh, mohawk. Well, it's kind of a mohawk, but like a ponytail. So, yeah, great great characters. Pretty rare to find. And you know what's a, with these characters and similar to Million Dollar Man? The black base, Margo, please. The black base at the bottom. Uh, it really, you play with these once or twice, a couple times, they get run down. You see it comes through, doesn't show back. So, and actually, this one has blue, and the other ones have black. If you, yeah, yeah Honky Tuck Man. This is actually pretty good quality relative to these Honky Tuck Man characters. Usually they have blue faces that are scratched up, but ours just has like, like a dot, like just a small spot. So we got a couple minutes left. Honky Tuck Man came with a guitar, really cool character. Dougie came with a piece of the 2x4, really cool. Um, Outback Jack, not a great character, not very popular at the time, also missing a tooth. He's kind of a weird one. Billy Jack, very hard to find. This one's actually quite expensive. Usually came, these both came with hats. Um, kind of rare to find some of these. This one is actually different than um, the rest. I'll show you. Because this one's like bigger. I don't know how they made this. Because he's like way bigger than the real kind. Like this is a measurement. Like they made him like bigger in size. I feel like. Which I don't really know. Because like. Yeah. Like it doesn't seem. Size. Doesn't it's seem to be bigger. true to scale. But uh, the Ted RCD, the, the, what's cool about these is they used to come with the back stops, which showed the additional characters. Uh, they came with a little poster as well. So like here you can see a Ted RCD one, Corporal Clincher one, we have a few in here. Um, so those are pretty cool. Like, you can hang those in your room when you're a kid. Yeah, these are two, uh, Ted RCD, a little less rare. Um, but, you know, purple guy as they call him, he's kind of uh, a little more rare, more a little more difficult to come by, a little uh, up in price. Rounding out the set, Hercules, very strange outfit with a gear on. He kind I of like just, his like, outfit. He used to have a chain. The character didn't come with a chain. I think they ran out of budget on that one. Uh, rounding us out is, well, well, we'll do the rest, white and blue shirt. Very rare, very hard to find. Yeah, I think it's the- This one is actually um, cheaper. Yeah, I think the white was only released in Canada or very limited or mail away in the US. So very limited or very yeah, rare, hard to come by. Yeah, um, a blue. little expensive than this one. Yeah, a little more in price in terms, but they were still, pretty, nonetheless, pretty cool characters and needed to round up the set. Closing the show uh, after, the, once we get to the thumb the wrestlers, one. is the yeah. rounding out series oh, five yeah. LGN yeah. set this, is Axe. Really cool. Yeah, boy, Jim. That's yeah. Hillbilly Jim. Yeah, and he's got the hat glued on in that one um, relative to the actual. And then the legit lost accessory. Wait, and actually, okay. these ones are the wraps. And yeah. actually, I said um, these actually are a duplicate, like like they. They're all just a variation. So you get white or blue shirt. Them. That's Big John Stud. Big John Stud, little finger. That's a, and then these. Roddy Piper. Piper. The Rowdy one. And and, then, and, and then the least, champ Hulk Hogan. No, well, this guy. Well, Hulk Hogan. Hogan, and, Hogan, and just to round out to finish up, we on the demolition. They only released Axe. Um, he is a pretty good quality for Axe. A very rare character um, and really cool. I like that. So again, they released Series Six, which included some very rare characters: Big Boss Man, Rick Rude, Ultimate Warrior, Haku, uh, Blackstrap, Andre. One of Dad's favorite Rick Rude. Yeah, some really yeah, cool ones. And then they had a mail do. order. Sergeant Slaughter, which was the last one to round up the series. So I'm glad I could share that with you guys. So uh, any final parting words? Oh, we have the belt back yeah. there, which I got at a match in the 80s. But that's it for us. We're, we're signing a, out. Um, um, newer ring. Say goodbye, Morgan.